Hi there, this is Dave and welcome to our review of Tales of Arise. So far, I've made two videos discussing my impressions of the game, first after completing the demo, and then the second one detailing my first impressions a couple of hours through. Now though, I have completed the game and I am here to give you my full, untarnished, honest review on the entire experience. As many of you know, my favorite series is Dragon Quest, and the reason for this is because you always know what to expect whenever you buy a Dragon Quest game. It's not like Final Fantasy where every single game changes radically from one to the next, but Tales also fits that mold. There have been over 20 games in the series, and only a scant few of them were actually disappointing. The vast majority have been stellar experiences from beginning to end. Recently, I have thought that Tales has been losing its focus, but Arise is a return to form and easily my RPG of the year. At its core, Tales of Arise tells the story of racism, subjugation, and slavery. There are twin worlds, Reina and Donna, and the people of Reina have come down to the land of Donna 300 years ago and then enslaved the populace. So it's up to you and Shion to rise up or arise out of slavery. Along the way, you'll escape your own shackles and also free the five elemental themed lands from their chains too. There's a lot more to it, of course, such as Reina draining astral energy from Donna, similar to the whole Silverant Tefeala mana thing in Symphonia. But all in all, it's a pretty basic story that we've seen before in prior Tales games. But that's the basics, and I don't want to spoil it too much here. I mean, the story isn't bad, and the character interactions are the star of the show, but again, it's just been done before. The group of characters that you get all have a nice chemistry. Well, four of them do. The other two just kind of feel tacked on. All six of them are introduced to you in the demo, so there's no surprise insofar as who's going to actually join the party, which kind of ruins the entire story and mystery of the third area. The first four characters that you get form a perfectly balanced party of fighter, healer, black mage, and hero, where the last two, a red mage and a sentinel, are much more specialized. While I wanted to experiment more with them, there really was no time that the game forced you to split up or anything, so it just felt like neither of them are particularly important or useful, so why mess with a good thing? When I first began playing the Tales series, I loved the skits. It was so unique to me, and it always felt so special whenever they popped up, but now, the magic is gone. You know the old saying, less is more? Well that's how I feel about these skits, there's just too damn many. Thank god they're optional because you are pretty much bombarded with skits from start to finish with multiple ones to rifle through in each town, dungeon, and zone. They are all over the place just swinging from the rafters. It's too much. But if the skits were actually, you know, useful and gave character development, I would watch them. But I would say that 90% of them are just about food, boobs, fishing, laundry, or whatever other mundane task the writers felt about droning on incessantly about. So even though the skits are gorgeous and they can be fun, I just found myself ignoring them completely. I don't care about what they're going to have for dinner or hearing Kassara bitch about Law not doing his laundry. I mean, who cares? Just as there's an abundance of skits, there's also a plethora of side quests to be had. However, those are useful and they should be completed as soon as possible. Each quest is easily identified by an envelope symbol on the minimap and on the fast travel map which makes completing them entirely painless. And you'd best complete them because if you don't, you're going to be one broke bitch the entire game. Because money, as well as SP for your skills, is hard to come by, and the quests really help you out here. So now, let's talk about SP or skill points. As you play the game and complete achievements, or move on to different plot points, you're going to be gaining a little title. Upon doing so, that's going to unlock a little skill web which has five different abilities attached to it. One will already be mastered, but once you master the entire web, you'll gain a completion bonus, which will permanently boost your stats. And that is how you're really going to power up your characters, because it makes all the difference in the world in the harder boss fights. Enemies are also seen on screen, and they are relatively easy to dodge. Most trash mobs will only take like a minute or so to beat, but boss fights can last upwards of 10 to 15 minutes and truly put you to the test. I am played through on story mode, and even there it could be rather difficult. All attacking skills cost AG, which regenerates as you attack, dodge, and battle, so use them to your heart's content. However, healing magic requires CP, or cure points, 
which you have to manage because heal points are few and far between and you can run out rather quickly. To make managing it a bit harder, there are obstacles strewn about the map which can only be destroyed by using CP and they will unlock hidden passages and treasures, so be sure to have plenty of healing gels on hand. All the quality of life improvements that you've come to expect in a modern JRPG are here, such as fast travel, labeled quests, NPCs changing color whenever you speak to them, and a next objective indicator. I've said it before, but my favorite aspect of RPGs is exploring, going off the beaten path, and discovering new things, and Tales of Arise offers that in spades. You'll even get notices whenever you reach a point of no return, and there are campsites and merchants where you can rest, shop, restore, cook, and bond with your team too. To speed up grinding, there's a battle meter where if you fight multiple battles back to back, you'll gain multipliers for your experience, SP, and Gold, which is just so nice for those grinding sessions. During your exploration, you're going to be stumbling across treasures of course, but also owls. In each of the five regions of Donna, there are numerous owls to find, and you can think of them kind of like the mini medals from the Dragon Quest series. The more owls you collect, the more prizes that you'll get from the Owl King. And it's here that the cutest member of your party comes into play, Hoodle. Hoodle is Rainwell's pet owl, and when you enter an area where an owl is hiding, he'll kind of come out and let you know that there's one nearby. Then as you get closer, he'll fly out again so you know to stop and look around for the hidden owl. It's a fun, addictive pastime, and I did enjoy finding them all. There's also an animal ranch where you can raise farm animals for food and money, as well as a fishing game, but honestly, fuck that fishing game. It sucks. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but the first part of the game was wonderful, the pacing was great, and I can't say enough good things about it. However, towards the end, that pacing begins to kind of fall apart. You'll get long story sequences, and then you can move like two steps just to get another long story sequence. It's like three hours of nothing but story, and it can be a bit grating. I do wish that they did a better job of pacing towards the end of the game, and maybe revealed some more of the end game story a bit earlier, instead of keeping everything so mysterious for so long. Also, the trash mobs start to have like boss level HP, and they're all there blocking doorways. But all in all, I had an absolute blast with my 36 hours of playing Tales of Arise. How did you feel about the game? Do you agree or disagree? Please let me know in the comments, and if you like this video and want to do here on the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon, heading on over to Twitch for some streaming fun, or joining the Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them can be found in the video description. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.